pajamas on. Gloriously cold morning it is. Woo. Okay. Okay, um. Got marching orders. I'm gonna start with this. As you marching orders mean that I gotta talk to some of my peoples. First of all, just an alert for our, our Pan African brothers and sisters who still are, some are still beefing, whatever about it. Whatever, we'll stop beefing. Um, see, this is Africa on a real globe, you know what I mean? They, they, with the proper proportions, huge, right? Right here in the middle of Africa, because where is it at, right there? Let's see, uh, right here. See, uh, Central African Republic, right there. Used to be part of the French people, you know? French, because that's all that, all that whole, whole area. I can't even see what I'm doing here. You know, you know, uh, uh, Central African Republic, uh, well, Nigeria is English, you know, Chad, all that. Oh, Chad, my gosh. That's why we have so many problems. Anyway, they're all landlocked in there. I mean, it doesn't matter. Central African Republic. You know what's happening in Central African Republic right now? I found this out by checking out Al Jazeera. So, yeah, you don't get good news. Anyway, Al Jazeera. Uh, anyway, Central African Republic. Okay, you know they had some some problems, and the, the French came in and tried to resolve the problems with all this because some, the, the former dictator that he, he whatever they, he, he whatever happened to him, and so the the, uh, the a lot of little gangs were going and trying to get power, right? And so the French tried to do something because they, well, they tried to do something. You know, the French are still all over Africa, just like the English are still all over Africa. We won't get into it right now. But so what happened is, well, they got as usual they they got out of there like Vietnam. They got psh, get out of here, right? Then the UN came in. Again, you know, they had some problems too because b both the French and the UN were like raping the women and stuff like that. So that's, that's what happened. Oh, this is your tea, dear. Thank you, baby. Oh, did you? Okay, thanks a lot. In a coffee cup. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay. okay. So, so they got there. Uh, so now, you know who's there now? They were there a long time before, according to the Al Jazeera thing. You know, you ready? When 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 that guy when when one of the, the guys first got coronated, whatever have you. The Russians, militarily, of course. You know, I mean, they advise and da da da, same people fight da 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 da. Okay, so the Russians are now in in in, in CAR, um, Central African Republic, right? Of course, the United States got military all around Africa. We want to get into that all around Africa. The Chinese have, has, a, has a base in Africa right now, of course, you know, in, uh, in Djibouti, same place where the, the, the United States had their initial base, Djibouti, who was also a French-speaking kind of thing. It's a French thing happening there. Okay, then, then what's happening next is, okay, so yeah, then, then, the Chinese are also, they're not only militarily, but they do infrastructure all over Africa, okay? So, here we go, here we go. Hey, darling, hey, darling. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, baby. I just want to record, okay? Okay. Okay. Appreciate it. So they're all over Africa. So now you got you got China, uh, America, and Russia in Africa. So let me say something to my Pan-African brothers. What you going to do about that? I know you, you'd rather beat up on ADOS. Or, you know, you might just have some beef with ADOS or whoever else you have a beef with. But what you going to do about that? Okay. Let me leave them alone. Okay, let me leave them alone. What's the next thing? Okay, you, you know what's happening in Haiti too? You know, all our Haitian, uh, you know, you got uh, I'm going to get to, okay, fine. Okay, marching orders. Here we go. Okay, just a second, just a second. Uh, I was listening to uh, uh, the brother, um, uh, uh, which is, uh, uh, Uja, yeah, Uja Iri Mayat. Okay, I think he, he's usually a. I used to watch him, uh, watch some of his stuff on uh, an Egyptian, like uh, he's, he's an Egyptologist, but he's, he's doing this thing. He's doing a really excellent job on his channel. I don't even know what his channel is called. It's like, oh, whatever. Anyway, so I was, I was, I was listening to. Cause he's just it's hashtag ADOS. That was his channel. But he's got to do mute the noise, mute the noise. I, that's why I started with the chat or whatever. Uh, not the chat, but the thing. Mute the noise. Okay, well, he says mute the noise now. I said, okay, you can keep on fighting, but you know, hey, you know, guess what? You know, come, come, come June, July. I say July four. Stop, stop beefing, start concentrating. Okay, here we go. 
So marching orders. So here's what we have to do now. We, like, like I said, I think these timelines, right? I'll uh, call our beef, our, our inner fighting, whatever have you, our, our scrappling you know, in, in the ring or whatever, wherever. Right now, we should do that now until July 4th, you know, country birth. Then July 4th, we should have some really big, huge kind of thing, I don't know, all over the country, some huge kind of thing, local things. Now, one of the things, listening to, this, to the brother, uh, you know, which I, I hope I'm saying, look, uh, brother, uh, let me see Ari Mayat. Okay. <laughs> better for me. Um, Brother Ari Maya is, uh, uh, um, he, 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 they were talking that, he's very constructive, I think you should, you should, you should check, check into his channel. But what he's talking about is, um, and people have a problem right now with this whole, uh, why are you focusing on the Democrats, blah, 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 and you know we have the whole thing, they've been with us, da, da, da. but I don't think people get it. This is a political movement. Okay, right now Democrats have their thing, and pretty soon the Republicans will have their convention with the cab. But even now, even now, even we should be doing this now with the Democrats anyway. Wherever you live, wherever you live, you should actually be going to certain political functions. You know, when they have a gathering, you know, you know, to town halls, whatever they they have. And if say, for instance, you live in I don't, know, I don't have an American map here. I don't have a United States map someplace. You say you live in. Was Iowa, Iowa, right? And you know, only black person in Iowa. When you show up to a, a political meeting, then people can notice you. You see what I mean? Again, Nebraska, you're the only black person in Nebraska. You, you know, and say, I don't say Mississippi, but say I don't know uh, Arizona. You know, I mean, it's a lot of Republicans in Arizona, right? And you and you're a black contingent that grows up in the Arizona to your Republican representative or your senator or whatever it is. Then what happens is. You're golden. And if you're ADOS and you start espousing it and you get some other ADOS to come with you to these meetings, to these gatherings, it's a political movement. First of all, you'll learn a lot. And second, your points, our points, will be done. Okay, well, let, me, let me say what Brother Mahat says all the time. You know, hey, look, I'm not a spokesman person for ADOS. That's, that's Yvette and Antonio, and, and Antonio, right? I'm just. I'm just talking at, from a desk. At a, okay, you have to weigh what I say also. I might not be right. Um, so if you go to those things, you're, you, you see what I'm saying? Now, let me say something. Um, or I'm wearing my, my wife made this for me, my Sloan Chef thing. Because last night I, I got cooked a meal. I can cook, you know. Let me say something, you know. I can really cook very well. I let my wife cook because she insists, you know. You know, African women, you know how they are. Anyway, so anyway. So I cooked a nice little meal last night, uh, and it was nice. It was great. It was great, great. But how did I learn how to cook? Well, I used to, you know, go to my grandmother be cooking in a pot. You know, I'm 10 years old, 11 years old, whatever it is. I kind of, what you cooking, Grandma? They said, food. I go, oh, gosh, got to go through this again. We go through this all the time. I mean, what, what kind of food? You know, I mean, how, how are you doing it? She said, you got eyes, just watch. You can see. What she's saying, you got to look and remember and spend time with me and da 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 It's really slick. Um, so I, I, not that I, well, anyway, so, you know, I used to do pancakes, you know, regular would do pancakes, you know, I love when she made crumb cake, you know, you have, you have that Entenmann's crumb cake in, in the States, right? Yeah. She made crumb cake better than Entenmann's, and the crumbs were like, <sighs> my sister, you know, my sister was supposed to get the recipe, whatever, if she can't do it, I can't do it, I don't know what, yeah, 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 it's a terrible thing. Oh, and back to the point, but my grandmother was kind of interesting, because she used to, eighth grade education, just like a lot of, lot of you know, whatever. But she used to um, go to the courthouse, just to sit in the courthouse, just to see what's going on. What did she learn from courts? How, how, how the law works. We don't even, have you even gone to a courthouse aside from somebody who's one of your friends being locked up, whatever, having gone to trial? Just hang out. Interesting, I'd say, you know. So she learned a lot just by, and we, we, anybody can learn a lot just by doing it. Now let's, let, let me go to this thing about going to, if you go to your Republican as well as Democratic gatherings when they have a little whatever they have, you know. If say you're, home, you're homeschooling your child, your child is 15, 16, whatever have you, well, hey, send them, send them, send them to a political meeting. You, you and them go to a political meeting. That's part of your education, right? That's civics, right? Uh, or if, or if you, uh, you have a list of, uh, you can say anybody, you know what I mean? Uh, a gang, say you got a gang, okay, you know. Gang, gang, you send a couple of representatives of your gang to the civic meeting. They, they can be there, they don't have to do the gang. Well, you, know, you should dress like it. Not everybody dress the way you want to dress. Let me not tell you how to go. But 
it's very interesting because if you're really going to be engaged, you have to see what's going on. If you're really going to call the white, you know, the white supremacist, whatever, have you had it, well, why don't you study their system? Study their system from the inside. Just be there, you see? Like that. And you will have an influence. So that's the marching orders. Now, let me just, I, don't, I want to make this really short because usually I'm long, or blah, 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 blah. So I've, I've been, um, you know, I look, I look at a lot of chat, not a lot. I look at some channels, whatever I've been following. But I find some channels really, really. Um, um, you have the community classroom, uh, uh, the Dr. Ch uh, Tracy McCarthy. I like her stuff, right? Uh, you have uh, uh, Black Truth, Professor Black Truth. You know, the the, the B1 Brigade. I'm saying the B1, the B1 people. I mean, not the label them, but he'll come after me. Um, you have a. Uh, um, uh, uh, who said Wuja, the brother Maya, his channel, uh, his, uh, hashtag ADOS, really, really big. Of course, you have the Yvette Bringing Brown uh, channel, and you have Antonio Moore doing his Tone Talks, um, Tone Talks channel. So, is there only one? Oh, my sixth choice, in numerology, six is the number for education. I'm sorry, I just love this guy. Fury TV, I'm sorry, look. He got me. I, I, every time I, he, he's he's on the belt, so I just I love your TV. I'm sorry, I just do. Okay, so with those six, that's my six. Of course, there's a lot of other people that, that, I, that I flirt around with, but these are my my regular my regular folks, you know. And it's it's quite an education. I bring this up because water reaches its level. If and it's not many people are supposed to be listening to me right now because I don't monetize my channel. I don't I don't ask people for no shares, likes, and nothing like that. So I'm never going to be up like that. So don't worry about that part. But what's interesting is that when I say water reaches its level, when I first started traveling a lot, um, not first when I when I was I was taking a trip one time and I was, and I was going to uh, Florida for some I was going to Florida. And people say, oh, because everybody knows me. They say, oh, man, there ain't, there ain't no conscious people in Florida, man. You can have problems there. So I'm going, ah, I say, well, I got to go. So I went, of course I went to con conscious people. What do you do? If you go to a bookstore, you're going to find other book readers. You know, <laughs> if you you see what I'm saying? So all you got to do is go to a place where, people, where, you, where you would go, where other conscious people would hang out, and you will find the conscious people. And you, at this particular point, especially with ADOS, you really, really have to... Uh, Gang yourself with other ADOs so you can you, you, da, 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 da. and when you get into you have to confront people but you know you, you see what I'm, I'm getting at surround yourself you all who you surround yourself with proximity is everything whatever the other cliches can be thrown out there I don't know get out of here fly those kind of things so that's that, that's the marching orders right I mean, everybody's got something to do get into your thing but if you can just try to explore some other some other things because this this the um, uh, when you go to a Republican gathering you can ask them about reparations too and ask them hey have you, have you signed on to HR 40 if they have represent if they're a senator if they're a senator you go to a senator's thing you can say um, I hear that Cory Booker is putting um, a reparations are you gonna support that bill? Yeah, for a commission, are you going to support the bill? You, say, you, say you run into some presidential, you know, uh, uh, thing. You, you ask them, hey, are you going to do a presidential commission just in case it's HR 40 or then this go through and you can, I don't know how you do it, but you see what I'm saying? You, it is possible. Now you're asking me what I'm talking about, okay? So that's it for me. T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk. It's not really official desk. I mean, I'm not sanctioned by ADOS. A desk of the American descendants of chattel slavery. North American descendants of chattel slavery.